Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the uh, previous sessions we have seen uh, what is a spanning tree and uh, what is a minimum cost spanning tree and we have already seen one example. So taking a graph and uh, constructing the minimum cost spanning tree. So we'll, in this session we will go with a one more example. So let us consider this graph and now we, we are supposed to find out the minimum cost spanning tree for this particular graph. So just recalling the steps, the first step we can consider any vertex and the second step we need to find out all the outgoing uh, edges from that vertex to new vertices and consider the least weighted edge and include it on a tree. And after including the least cost uh, weighted edge on the tree, if it forms a cycle, so we have to discard and we need to go for the next least weighted uh, edge. Right? And we need to repeat the same thing until all the vertices are included in a tree. So let's start with this one. So this is a Prim's algorithm. So by using this Prim's algorithm, we are going to find out the minimum cost spanning tree. So first we need to consider any edge, right? So the first step I will, I will go with here. So consider A, consider A. Now what are the edges from this A? So edges are uh, like uh, A to D, A to D with a 5 and A to F with a 7 and A to B with a 14 and A to C with a 21 so you can see from a we are having a four edges a to b a, sorry a to d a to f a to b and a to c now the next step we need to select the minimum cost edge right least weighted edge so why among these this is the least cost edge right so consider this one so our next see our next one will be a a to d a to D with a cost of 5. A to D with a cost of 5. Now, what are the remaining edges? Simply write down all the edges. So, one is A to F with a 7 and A to B with a 14 and A to C with a 21. Now, consider the edges from D, right? Because the new vertex included in our tree D. So write down the edges from D. So two edges are there. The, uh, D to A already done. So D to F. D to F with uh, 13. D to F with 13. And D to E with 22. D to E with 22. Right. So among all these edges. So this is the first step. So among all these edges, what is the minimum cost? So 7, 14, 21, 13, 22. So this is the minimum cost. So consider this one. Okay, consider this one. Right? Now, the graph, the tree becomes A to D with a cost of 5. And from A to F, so the next cost is A to F. So A to F with a cost of 7. So what are the remaining edges? What are the remaining edges? See, after this one, what are the remaining edges? You simply go with this one. So A to B with a 14. Next, A to C with a 21. A to F. So this already happens, right? Sorry, D to F. Okay, D to F. So D to F with a 13 and D to E with a 22. So now we are having a one more vertex that is F. So now consider the edges of F. So from F we are having how many edges? So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So among all these things, F to A we have completed. 
So f to d, f to d or d to f. This is a biconnected. So f to d or d to f both are equal. You can simply leave. F to e. F to e with a cost of 15. F to g. F to g with a cost of 18. F to b. F to b with a cost of 2. So these are the edges from f. So among all these things, consider the least cost weighted edge. So among these, this is the least cost weighted edge, right? Now, now the tree will be A, D, F, B, right? So this is 5 and this is 7 and this is 2. Now our tree is like this. Okay, tree is like this. Now the new vertex added here and consider all the remaining edges. Okay, consider all the remaining edges. So what are the remaining edges here? So all these are the remaining edges. A, A to B with a 14. Next A to C with a 21. And D to F with a 13. And D to E with a 22, F to E with a 15, next F to G with a 18, F to B with a 2. So our, uh, our tree consists of a new vertex B. Now consider all the edges from B. So from B we are having only two edges, B to C and B to G and B to, sorry, B to C, B to G, B to F and B to A. Now B to A, so this is already covered. B to F, already covered, right? So we, we should not consider this one because we have already done, right? So this is already done, so we should not consider. So B to F, there is no H. So B to G, 19. So B to G, B to G with 19 and B to C with 15. B to C with 15. Consider the least. Consider the least among all these things. What is the least one? So this one is the least. D to F is 13. So D to F is 13. So if you consider D to F, so they, it forms a cycle. You can observe here. It forms a cycle. So we should discard this D to F. We should discard this D to F. Because if you add this one, we will get a cycle. So we should not consider this one. Next, next least. So there are two edges which are having the next least costed edge. So F to E or B to C. In such cases, you can consider any edge. Okay, here we are having two edges with the minimum cost. You can consider any edge. Okay, so I will consider B to C. I will consider B to C. Now, now the tree will be like this. A, D, F B okay so this is 5 this is 7 and this is 2 now we need to consider B to C what's the B to C here yes B to C with 15 B to C with 15 now consider all the remaining edges here so A of B with a 14 right so you can observe here uh, okay let us uh, let us write down no problem next a to C with a 21, D to E with a 22, and F to E with a 15. Next, F to G with a 18, and B to G with a 19. Because we should not consider this one because we have already uh, uh, done the edge from B to C. Now, among uh, now the, there is a new vertex here included in the tree now. Consider the edges of C. So C to B. There is no edge, right? So C to B. Sorry. So already C to B, there is an edge, right? So C to A. C to A, there is an edge here already covered. C to B, already we have constructed in the tree. C to G is 3. C to G is 3. And C to E is 4. C to E is 4, right? 
So among four edges from C, C to A is already written, C to B already considered in the tree, C to G and C to E. So this is the next one. So we need to select the least, least cost from this one. So which is C tends to G with a 3. So from C, you can construct a G, so which doesn't form the cycle. So now, so I'll consider here. A with a D with a F B C and G right so the weightings are 5 7 2 15 and the edge is 3 here okay edge is 3 now we have taken one edge that is a new vertex G so what are the remaining uh, uh, edges? See, you can observe here. So A tends to B with a 14 and A tends to C with a 21. D tends to E with a 22. F tends to E with a 15 and F tends to G with a 18. B tends to G with a 19 and C tends to E with a 4. Now the new vertex is G. Now consider from G. So G, we are having uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and uh, sorry, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So first G to F. So is there any edge? There is no edge. So we have to consider G to F. Okay. So let us consider here, right? So G to F with 18. Next, G to B. G to B, there is a there is considered, we have considered, right? G to C, so we have already constructed the tree. So G to E is 2. G to E is 2. So these are the edges. Among all these things, consider the least. So this one is the least, G to E. Now construct the tree with this one. So A, okay, A. A to B, F, F to B, B to C, C to G and the last one is G to E, G to E. So the cost, let us write down the cost, it is a 5 and it is 7, it is 2, it is 15, it is 3 and again the last one is So this is the tree and now you can observe all the vertices has been covered. So A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Right. So all the vertices has been covered here. So we, we can stop here and consider the remaining vertices. So consider this A to B. So we have considered G to E with 2 and we have included the H. Consider A to B. If you consider A to B, it forms a cycle. So we should discard. A to C, if you consider A to C H, right, again it's a cycle. D to E, so D to E, again it forms a cycle. F to E, F to E, again it forms a cycle. C to G, sorry, F to G, F to G, again it forms a cycle. B to G, again it forms a cycle. So C to E, it forms a cycle. G to F, G to F, again it forms a cycle. So all the edges has been covered and all the vertices has been covered here and now you need to find the minimum cost of this particular tree so this is the minimum cost spanning tree so this is a minimum cost spanning tree so you can see so we are having all the vertices okay we are having all the vertices and if the graph is having n edges, sorry, n vertices, the edges should be n minus 1. So how many vertices are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 
seven vertices are there so it should have seven minus one six edges so one two three four five and six edges so it satisfies the spanning tree and you can apply i mean uh, you can see the this is the minimum cost spanning tree for this particular graph and here the minimum cost here the minimum cost i will write here i, I will write down here so the minimum cost is so how much 5 plus 7 plus 2 plus 15 plus 3 plus 2 so how much it is 12 14 29 34 so minimum cost spanning tree the cost of this particular spanning tree is 34 right so hope you understood first you need to select any vertex and consider all the outgoing edges of that particular vertex to the new vertices and select the minimum or least weighted edge from the well, among all the vertices and if that edge forms a cycle in a tree discard that edge and consider the next least cost weighted edge and repeat the same process until all the vertices are included in the tree so here you can see all the vertices are included in the tree so we have stopped the procedure and we have checked all the all the edges so all the edges if if you uh, consider any one of the edge it forms a cycle here so that's why we, ha we have to uh, remove all the edges we need to discard all the edges right so this is how we can find the minimum cost spanning tree by using the prince algorithm so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this one Feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.